chat is readable at all. Something tells me it's not. How's the volume level, guys? played this before. Something that I've been wanting to check out for quite some time, but never got around to it. I will turn the tutorial on. Might as well have a detailed UI. I don't know why I'd want to disable dialogue. not going to be doing automatic combat. Hmm. Oh well, let's see what we got here. We can be a barbarian, a paladin, an assassin, wizard, druid, or ranger. I'm never really that fond of magic casting classes. Also, I think chat has completely shit itself. I'm not sure if I broke it by trying to highlight it. It is soothing. Good, no chat didn't break. You guys... Is the chat actually legible on the stream, or is it completely foobar? I've got that um, chroma key thing going on. Yeah, difficult to read. I probably just won't have a chat overlay on this video. I have no idea how to change the background color of the chat. If I could do that, it would make it a lot easier to, to key it out. Oh, come on, you guys don't like garbled pixels? You can, you can keep it like that right there. This music reminds me of, I think, the Guardian Legend on the regular Nintendo. We'll just play like this. It certainly won't cause any problems. Okay. No chat overlay on this one. The problem with this is that the, the game window is just really weird shaped. I've already got it stretched out to fill the broadcast window as much as I can, but there's going to be huge black bars on top and on bottom. Hey, you leave my pixels alone, Jeremy. Okay, I think to start out, we're just going to be a barbarian. I don't really want to mess with spells or anything else until I get a little bit of uh, a hang of things. Okay, I'll turn the microphone volume up a little bit. That looks like it should have improved it a decent amount. Is the music still too overbearing?
problem is every single game has a different audio level. Well, if I turn my, vol my microphone volume up more, you guys will be able to hear my heartbeat. If I sing instead of speak. Unfortunately, I can't sing. At all. <coughs> I sing to my dogs, but that is it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna be a barbarian. We are a plain barbarian, full of creativity and quirkiness. I'm sorry, sarcasm doesn't communicate well over text. You are the most average warrior to have ever walked the planet. You fight things, and while you're good at it, you lack style. Hmm. So, I guess this is character creation. Slaxer, I want to hear you sing. Upload it to one of your, your videos. So, let's see. The more pain I'm in, the bigger my muscles yet. You generate 5% of max hit, hit points per turn. If health is below 50, that'd be kind of nice. Fear my spinning biceps with the hardness of diamonds. Spin to win. 50% chance for a whirlwind to guard break. Hmm. I actually really don't know which one to choose here. I think though... Or wait, are those the ones I start off with? Hell if I know. Yes, I want to view detailed perks. So, these are all the perks. I'll cleave through everything but the kitchen sink. It's refreshing to see someone else bleed for once. Gain 10 MP per turn while enemy is bleeding. Good lord, there's a lot of stuff here. I don't know what any of it means. Choose gender, it will be a male. Character name. Apparently my caps lock key got on at some point. We're the, we're the plump one, the chosen one. Select augments. What are augments? Augments, these will allow for advanced character customization options. Extremely rare. Can only be found while playing in classic mode. Okay, well I guess we don't have any augments then, do we? So, three different game modes. Classic, no respawns. Death is permanent. Max item drop rate. Soft core, death is just a major setback. Um, negative 20% item drop rate. And survival. How many battles can you win? We're going to go classic. I don't really want to do a survival mode. I think you guys are a little bit behind me now, Kate. Um, let's see, place of origin, northern area, the ability to bend the mystical elements. We can be a bender. Central Tyriol, the strength to take down enemies with force, or southern Syria. Syria, the endurance to withstand brutal attacks. We're going to go brute force number two. We will chop through our enemies like they are just paper mache. So, from the central brutes of Tyriol, we can be a flamkin. Charred with hellfire, these fire breathers relish in blood. They start with dry heat, brick oven, and deadly view. Using your ultimate will bend the enemies, grants immunity to molten and vampiric, and when using heal, 5% chance to bleed enemies. Joltunar, dwarven inhabitants of Joltan. Pain is their pleasure. Enemies take damage while the player is bleeding. I really don't want to be bleeding, though. Fury Whip, ultimate deals bonus damage to weakened enemies, and Painbringer, when hit points are less than 25%, 10% uh, chance to blah 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 blah, or Wisperia, these dark shadowed creatures are truly one with nature. I think we're just going to be a Flamkin. Plump one, the average one. Play intro cinematic? Sure, I've never seen it before. We thought the book would be closed for good. We thought this day would never come. We were wrong. So, so wrong. I love the art style in this game already. They really went all out. Many moons ago, there existed a mystical blade, so large and so powerful. Totally wasn't a cock blade. 
that it would spell certain doom for humanity if it was ever stolen. Hello, Stannis. The Matron, she. She wanted to find this majestic sword for reasons unknown. After years of searching, the forests, the plains, the mountains, the ponds, only to come up dry, she managed to locate the sword and pry it from the hardened stone. Wielding its great power, the Matron then sought to destroy humanity. But, enter Cyrus, the Magnificent. A charming, dashing wizard. Yep, that's his actual name. He threw parties for kids and was part clown. His purpose was to banish the Matron and to protect the few who remained. Sploosh, after the Great War, he managed to seal her away in an icy crystal. But even a mighty wizard such as Cyrus was no match for the darkness that approached from the west. With the crystal shattered, the Matron was freed from her prison. He got blasted in the face, that's what's wrong with it. With the crystal shattered, the Matron was freed from her prison. She grew wings and took flight, apparently. No one knows what became of Cyrus. Not a trace of him remains. Some say Cyrus will come back for us. Some say he's still out there. That I cannot believe. And I don't know how I ever could. Mages always fuck everything up. However, our name is Plump. We're a barbarian of Flamkim descent. We came out of the womb with a map, compass, and a baggie of trail mix ready to go. Raised by a band of merry men, we love wearing tights. The tighter, the better. Crossing our eyes and getting them stuck has been our biggest regret. It's thrown our balance off ever since. One, to enjoy walks in the forest, we are besieged by other men in tights. Twenty minutes ago? Hell, we didn't know. We didn't know how we met our mother, apparently. And we instantly grow a beard, but damn it, it falls off and runs away. Suddenly, a woman appears among a flock of doves. Unsure if we enjoy her smell or not, we grab her hair and take a whiff. It smells almost like butterflies. This is our story. It better have been good trail mix. To unknown stranger. So, do you know why I'm here? I found a few of these in my pack. Please, it's all yours. Quickly, you must head to gate 16. We've obtained three heavy bags of gold pieces. So, our old weapon are our fists. She gives us a normal quarter staff. Does one extra damage, has one dex and one whiz. We'll equip that. Woohoo! We've equipped the staff that looks like a sword. So, our quest is to reach gate 16. We need to press 1 on our keyboard and then enter. Okay. Step, 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 step. Oh my god, it's a blue slime! A measly blue slime inches towards us. What will we do? It's currently blocking our path. Hmm. So we have, what, two attacks, light jab, and then a heal. I seem to have a ton of hit points. I have almost 700. Okay. So we jab, and then we can follow up with a linked attack. He bounces us in the face for 10 damage. We hit the blue slime only for 111 damage, starting off big. And then a heavy slam. And then we have a finisher, which is an uppercut. Interesting. The slime is guarding! It's taking reduced damage. You must reposition yourself. Alpha, I wouldn't kill it if I could somehow adopt it or something. Repositioning will swap between our two move sets, so use this tactically. Pressing one or two should work. We are prepared to use a reposition ability. Okay. Heal kick. 
and then a slide kick. Hmm. Wait. If I use reposition, then I break the opponent's guard. There we go. We're in position. We need to press F to focus. We have focused our powers, doubling our combo count. Nice. It managed to wound you. You'll take heavy damage upon repositioning. Hmm. I use heal to cure the wound status. Oh wow, my health is really low. And his health bar has barely been budged. That's great. Okay. We healed all the way up. It only used 8 MP, I think. This game definitely does not start out with small numbers. We bash the blue slime. Enraging him. It's splooshing all over us. I'm not used to games starting us out with almost 700 hit points. It's like, where do you go from there? It's going to be hard to keep track of everything that's going on with that many hit points if it starts to raise up into like the 10,000s and stuff. So it'll charge much more often and its attack power grows every turn. Here he comes now, he's getting ready to charge at us. Reposition to cancel the charge and reduce his rage. Okay. We slide to the side, letting the enemy charge around us. Okay. Um, reposition again. We slide to the back. How much enrage does it have? Good lord. Can't help it, slimes or sploochers. The slime has cursed us. This will slowly drain all of our meters. This curse also hides other statuses and disables our special attacks. We should know how to cure all elements by now, so hurry up. So, all we need to do is heal. Here we go. And I'm just gonna keep doing these combos. The slime has now ensnared us. We can't reposition or heal. Activate break free ability to free yourself. This is actually pretty um, detailed combat wise. So, break five, press five to break free. We free ourselves from the slimes and snaring attack. And then follow up with a Chuck Norris roundhouse kick to his cute little slimy eyeballs. And now he's going to expose my goods, that bastard slime. He de he de us. Being exposed will cause us to take 50% more damage from basic attacks. Reposition a few times to shake him off before he splooshes on us. Okay. Well, I guess to reposition I have to atta attack and then reposition. Okay. I don't, I'm no longer exposed, thankfully, so let's follow up with a heavy slam and a final uppercut. Slide kick. We knee the slime in his eyeballs because that's the only feature it has. And this should maybe kill it? No. Die, you slime! How tough are you? I need a better weapon. And the slime has finally been demolished. Yeah, the slime probably has like 20,000 hit points or something. It had 4,000 up there, so I was close. 20,000 is close to 4,000. Listen closely, plump one. My name is Diane. Something tells me you're not quite ready for the journey ahead. You're going to take quite a beating, so press R in between battles. This will heal you, but will consume one of your three heal charges. Charges replenish only upon leveling up, although you can purchase more. You'll get bonus experience for consecutive battles without healing or resting. So, take the grassy road to the north. The Matron must be stopped at all costs. Good luck, Plump. May the odds ever be in your favor. We demolished the blue slime. Let's see. There's a lot of stuff here. I think I leveled up. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Item drop. Is this a randomized item drop? That's kind of cool. So, a Parma shield. Block 4, 6 vitality, 9 dex. I don't need, can I even equip a shield? If I have that staff on? Yay, we leveled up! We have four stat points left to assign. Vitality, strength, intelligence, dexterity, or wisdom. Hmm. 
what to do. Strength would be extra damage by 2, plus 1 life on hits. Vitality raises health by 22, 0.2% max hit points, 0.5% heal power. Wisdom, mm, probably not going to stack that. Dexterity is kind of tempting simply for uh, the crit. Yeah, we can either go strength or dex pretty much. Strength would be a more stable source of damage for us be more consistent. Dexterity would simply allow us to get the occasional big hits and dodge attacks a little bit more often. Be a mage barbarian. Don't think so. Um, this is tough. This is tough. Can't decide. Two or four. Two or four. Hmm. You know what? We're just going to go strength for now. I've never been a big fan of trying to rely on critical builds. Just keep stacking that, why not? We currently have one passive skill point left to assign. Okay, upgrade max attack, or max hit points by 30, upgrade max, upgrade attack, upgrade max MP, upgrade armor. I think we'll upgrade max attack. We currently have four mastery points left to assign. How many... How many different points are there going to be? So we can do Blunt Mastery, Heavy Mastery, Magic Mastery, Blade Mastery, or Range Mastery. Well, right now I just have a Quarter Staff. I would probably... I wouldn't mind going Axes or Pole Arms. Hmm. I can't upgrade everything, Dark. Remember what happened in Democracy when we tried to upgrade everything? Sing for the internet, sploosh. The journey ahead. I'm gonna need more cigars for this, I imagine. Um, I'm gonna put my points into Blade Mastery. Even though I don't have a blade right now. So, we need to search the grassy fields for another gate. I don't need to heal right now. Step, step, step. Bane Guard. Skeleton is standing next to a boulder. Hint. Never pet a burning dog. Another day, another battle. The skeleton laughs at our measly weapon. Hmm. Well, I didn't have all these attack options last time. So, Whirlwind will actually make me lose life. But it has 200% extra attack. It will give me MP. I'm just gonna stick with Cleave. We kill it in one hit. Wow, we pummeled the skeleton. We keep searching the grassy field. Hey there, welcome to West Haven. The name's Blacksmith. Yep, I'll let you in on a little secret. If you ever see X or 8 in the background, press the corresponding key. This will allow you to go to secret areas tucked away in the environment. Now, let me show you this ridiculously long scroll to unlock your ultimate. Important, we're about to be shown a very important wall of text. Thanks for the warning, game. Can I get a too long didn't read? Your two ultimate attacks can interrupt charging enemies. To activate your ultimate, your alt meter has to be charged. Every two chains or four attacks, your ultimate meter will light up green. If the bar looks like this, you're good to go. The number inside your ultimate meter is your combo count. If you string together a chain of attacks, your rage meter increases. Upon five stacks, your rage meter will turn blue. This is your rage ultimate. Loads of damage, restores MP, and breaks guards. Both meters will persist between battles. But remember, to combo into alts, uh, and longer combos will massively increase the damage of your ultimate. Sorry for the wall of text. Just thought you needed to know a few things. I see you're carrying a fierce-looking staff, too. As a magic weapon, it grants bonus to mana regeneration, which is totally useful to you as a barbarian, I'm sure. If you'd like to learn more, consult the game manual. Yeah, I'm sorry for breaking the fourth wall. It won't happen again. Go back to your immersion. And, uh, be careful of the terminal. It's guarding that gate leading to the camp. We've unlocked two new abilities, Ultimate plus Feral Ultimate. 
So Barbarian, our Feral Crush, temporarily increases the attack. Okay. So, there's gate 17. Let's press X and go to that secret space in the background there. Step, step, step. Event. Charred toast. What appears to be a figure is burnt onto some toast. We can eat it, jump up and down. We can pair the burnt toast with a nice wine or walk away. Hmm. Let's pair it with a nice wine because who doesn't love toast and wine? As it turns out, the wine is a mixture of pus and blood. Holy crap. Well, that just about killed me. That's good. I'm gonna heal. Because why not? Sounds like my computer is heating up. Uh, no, it's not. So, there's a boss fight up ahead. However, let's go to X again. Another event. Mysterious item. A polymorphine item is floating in the air. We can reach for it, eat it, throw something at it, or walk away. Hmm. What to do with the mysterious item? Should we stick it in our mouth, even though we don't know what it is? Should we just try to grab it? See what it manifests itself as? Or should we just throw something at it and run away screaming? Eat it. Why do you guys want to put everything in your mouths, huh? You want to put the burnt toast in your mouth? You want to put the mysterious item in your mouth? Adopt it. We'll put a leash around it. Okay, we're gonna eat it then. It doesn't fit in our mouth, but it stops changing after we try. We have obtained scrap metal, a crafting material. Okay. Well. I hear like some type of fan in the music. I don't understand it. I thought it was my computer overheating, but it's not. So, we'll go to this X in the background again. Another event. It's a beggar. A beggar who is begging for pamphlets. I don't have any pamphlets. We can attack the beggar or walk away. Uh, I'm gonna attack the beggar. The beggar leaps at us and slashes. And I actually took damage but wasn't able to defend myself. Hmm. Another secret area. Chest opened. Item found. We have a normal siege crossbow. Does seven damage. Ooh. It's a lot better than my quarter staff, and since I'm not specced into either of them, there we go. We'll take the crossbow. And some more scrap metal. And some wood splints. Some more, and another wood splint. Okay. So, we're in the grassy fields. My hit points are restored. Um, let's stick around in the grassy fields. Rokes has bitten our face. And hint, wizards will always ask if you've read your SICP today. So we've been hit. The Rokes has eviscerated us for 97 damage. Shame I can't take this Rokes as a pet. Let's go into a Whirlwind. We've hit it for only 136 damage. We're exposed, we're bleeding, ow. We've repositioned ourselves. Hmm. He, ex he bashed my exposed crotch for 152. That jerk. Well, I'm still exposed, I can't reposition. Let's rupture. We only hit him for 91 damage. He's guarding. We need to reposition. Keep dancing around. Um, Z to hit con... I don't... Press Z to hit confirm or C to charge. Well, I really don't want to charge a rhino. Seems like a bad idea. I'm gonna press Z. We hit confirmed and tapped the rogues for 49 whopping damage. He's fumbling around. We're gonna grapple with him, which is a horrible idea. No, it's not actually. We thrashed him for almost 400 damage. Um, I need to heal up though. Because if I don't, he's gonna kill me with the next attack. Yeah. So, what to do? I kind of want a whirlwind again just because it does all, it does 200% extra damage. We hit him for only 136 and slide around to the side. Ground stomp him. He's preparing to charge. There's not really anything I can do. We'll rupture again. He's charging directly at us. It's time to reposition and get out of here. He barely slashes us for 121. He's floundering. 
We jump on his back and put him in a chokehold for another 400 damage. Okay, you're gonna die this time. We dodge his attack. Um, do X cleave. We hit him for 141 damage and the beast finally drops to the ground. We stomped on him. 29 experience, 105 gold, which is pocket change compared to what we've got. Item drop. Better be a sword. It's a charm. An Ionix Fluxer Burst. Or Bust. One defense, six vitality, eight dex. Might as well equip it. And level up. So, I've been putting points into strength. Which I'll probably do for this level too. After this level, we'll put some into dexterity. We'll do two into strength and one two into vitality. One passive skill point. Hmm. Upgrade max hit points by 30. How about we stick with upgrade attack and upgrade max hit points for our passive skills. And one mastery point. I'm going to continue to put that into blades. Because once I do find a bladed weapon, the entire game will change. The stinger body slams us. And hint, a group of slimes is called easy experience points. It's also called lunch. We stare unwaveringly ahead. Okay. Dang, he ex slashed and ex he exposed me and then stabbed me in the crotch. I don't know what's up with all these monsters exposing me and then stamping and stomping and stinging on my crotch. There we go. We finally pull our pants back up. Grapple onto him. We grapple the stinger and toss him on the ground by his wings for 412 damage. I'm gonna reposition again. Oh yeah, double our combo count. Um, I'm looking for my ultimate frenzy thing. I think, I think it's this right here. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, I don't see it. So he's gonna hopefully be dead soon. Let's reposition again. Bashed us. I was hoping I could reposition and get another another charge in. Those charges are absolutely delicious. We hit him for 22 damage. That's not really worth it. Slashes us. We hit him for 25 damage. None of my regular attacks do anything. Hmm. I should probably heal up. Just to be safe. And rupture him. He's guarding. We slide underneath him as he floats overhead. Doesn't give me any openings for a chokehold, though. Cleave him, and there we go. Stinger has been bested. Didn't get anything from it, unfortunately. I'm gonna stick around here just one more time, and then we'll go to gate 17. Mana Thresh. The skeleton is standing with its legs spread wide open. You may have heard that you can romance a cow. Okay, can you romance a cow? Uh, skeletons, I think those are easy experience too. We kick him in the rib cage, and he falls apart. The Matron has enslaved us all, some strange man says. Nimble. Feralk growls at us as we walk towards it. Hint. Nimble enemies will dodge heavier attacks. We have been taken by surprise. He hits us for 131 damage. Well, let's see if we can do something about that. We double smash him for 253 and 144 damage. I'm just going to continue to go to combat with him. Um, okay, we'll heal up. Because I don't want to risk anything. And yeah. This guy, that thing didn't give me any challenge whatsoever. Item drop. Leeching Potato Wand. Damage 11 for intelligence. Might as well drop the crossbow. So far, everything i found has been an upgrade. Get some wood splints. So, do we want to go to gate 17 and probably get killed? 
or keep stomping around the grassy fields here. There's a boss fight at gate 17. It's giving me the warning in red up there, which it's probably giving it to me for a reason. And a rock is solemnly staring at us. Hint, don't be too comfortable around rotund potatoes. This guy has a lot of health. Hmm. I could try to run, but that's only at 20%. Not that good. We'll just start out with some regular basic attacks. He's preparing to charge. We reposition. He's cursed us. That's great. Um, I need to heal just to get rid of that. Okay. Continue to dance around this thing. See what happens. We hit him with 239. Bone crush. He glances us. And a mending gash, which is our finisher. Guarding. Well, how does how can an Orok poison me? I didn't think those things. Ability has failed. Incorrect key. I'm dumb. I pressed H for heal. Five cock magic. That's coming up later. He's trampled us. Let's just try and finish him off. There we go. Enough dancing around and repositioning. We destroy him. Hey, a secret in the background. That's why I want to kind of keep exploring. It's a strange hobo. We can say hello, we can stab her, we can steal her weapon and cross our fingers that it's a blade of some type. <sighs> we can't eat her, so don't even suggest it. Steal. There's one for steal. I, I leave these events up to you guys. This is where viewer participation comes in, and w one of the main reasons I, I am streaming. So, there's three steals. Seducer, Alpha, I can't. She's a hobo. I'm a barbarian. She's, she's way below my class range, okay? Remember the other hobo. Be nice. I'm gonna consider Seducer to say hello. So far, it looks like we're gonna steal it. There is no bed, this hobo option? What a lame game. Hobo weapon. Okay, everybody wants to steal the weapon. Let's see what it is. We, we attempt to steal her weapon. She is amused by it. She laughs in our face and walks away. So, this event, we find an item. It's a demon bleed septum. It's a pole arm. 15 damage. Uh, let's take it. You guys are too slow, you gotta, you gotta vote quicker. Another wood splint. We'll continue walking around the grassy fields. An empowered raven has spat fire in our face. Okay. We're ready to use our weapon. Let's go out. We've grazed it for only 148. He's preparing to charge and slashed our exposed arm. Cursed me. I need to reposition. Primarily to get rid of that exposed. We're bleeding too. Okay, this, this fight's gonna be tough. Mm. Continue with some more combos. The raven is floundering. He's on the ground. We jump on his back and snap one of his wings like a twig. Okay, there we go. We've grappled him, thrown him. He's fumbling. Yeah, with his wings destroyed, the bird stood no chance to our barbaric might. 49 experience, 195 gold, and he dropped an item. Quotes the raven, nevermore. More scrap metal. And we leveled up, so... Hmm. Should I put all four back into strength? We gain 36 health right now every time we hit a monster. Yes, feel the power. We've leveled up. Um, I'm going to put it all into strength. One passive skill. We'll upgrade attack by 2.5. Mastery point into blade mastery. I'm going to continue walking around these easy fields. Oh, brave person. 
Will you be the one who stops the Matron? Uh, probably not. I've never beat a roguelike. It's a numbing. An empowered raven has impelled us. Numbing enemies will hide my health values. That's kind of scary. Okay, he's preparing to charge. We're gonna dance around him. We're still exposed. The raven is enraged. We jab the raven for 60 damage. Let's grapple him to the ground now. Okay, I still need to get this. There we go. We're no longer exposed. And he's charging. Let's reposition to the side. I need to stop. Ooh, he poisoned me. I'm not real worried about being poisoned right now. My health is fine. He's guarding. Let's get that down. I'm gonna have to heal after this, though. Crushing blow. We can use our ultimate for the first time. That raven has 2,000 hit points. Wow. Wait, we're in position. He's floundering. I'm gonna save my ultimate. And let's finish the bird. There we go. 88 experience. Wow. Item drop! Give me some armor or something. A nose stick ring. It has better dex and 9 wisdom. However, I'll lose 6 vitality, and honestly, I don't much care for wisdom. So, we're gonna salvage it. Item has been salvaged! We obtain a wood splint. Okay, I really do need to heal. There we go. Step, step, step. A hornet has fallen onto our face from a tree. And they say that the Matron washes her cats with boiling water. That evil bitch. So let's get this dance, dance started. Of course, he's going to expose me right off the bat. Um... Not really feeling this fight right now. Let's heal up. There we go. And the hornet has been rolled, because we did a double critical smash right there. 37 experience. And oh no, before we can leave, fast charge lot skeleton is resting in the shade. We're ready to move in while he just lays there. Let's go in with a whirlwind and then crush him. There we go. The skeleton has been massacred. I wish I could do D-Man voice. Mm, we're gonna we're gonna level up again soon. One more fight, and then we're gonna go to gate 17, because I honestly am curious what's there. Rumor has it that the Matron is surrounded by a potato army. Delicious. The blinding hollow slime. Blinding enemies will obscure my moves. Are you are you serious? Temporarily blinded. Um. 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 Okay. Critical. Let's get into position. Grapple him. Let's see if I can remember these moves. There we go. Ain't, ain't nothing, okay? He can blind me all day long. I will dance around him. He can't stop me. The slime dropped something. It's a silver key. It's common. And we level up. So... How about... Hmm... This game is a lot better than I thought it would be. The combat is fun, the exploring is fun, the dialogue and descriptions are fun. I don't know if I can go back to the blacksmith. I'm gonna go ahead and put these all into vitality and get that health up. Keep upgrading my attack and blade mastery. Hey, we've unlocked a new ability. Send that punch right back where it came from with this powerful ability. Repost. I've never really heard how to pronounce that name. Repost? Reposte? And you've unlocked the new ability, Substance. When below 33 hit points, Substance allows you to restore all of your health. Question is, how often can I use that? Okay, we're going to gate 17. Is Q for the... Oh, I guess Q is the blacksmith. All I have to do is learn how to read. Oh, 
I like how his blacksmith hammer is part of the music. So, five is activate a mission. We could redeem our scrap metal. I don't know what that does. Let's redeem it and see what it does. Ah, I hope this weapon tickles your fancy. It doesn't. It's a swapping flamberge. Plus five vitality, ten wisdom. Has better, um, stats, but not better damage. However, it is a sword. It is a blade. It is a blade. Let's take the blade. Yes. And we've obtained a scrap metal. We've got our forest blade weapon, finally! Okay, let's activate the mission. I'm looking for two diamond. Please let me know if ye have some. It's so hard finding those these days. Well, I don't have two diamond. I don't even have one diamond. Um, view item or... What's one? Ooh, wow. A tomb wand. Costs a lot. I like how the item screens have their own music, too. I guess I'll pick this one up for myself, then. A petrified wand. No thanks. I'll have to bring this one to my dear Mabel. And a third item. Actually, let's view a premium item. It's a blessed septum. Speedum. Blessed speedum, I mean. It's out of my price range, so no thanks. I couldn't have tried to sell you a less terrible weapon. Haha, <laughs> you're on to me. Okay, I'm not gonna redeem any more scrap. Let's just talk to the guy. Black magic bars our way. You know, I actually... Yeah, what is your name, Blacksmith? I know that your name can't actually be Blacksmith. That, that, that just wouldn't make any sense. I'd rather not tell. Why are you so secretive? I don't get close to people. They have a habit of dying on me. You know how hard it is to carry around all these smithing supplies? No, I don't. So what's the deal with that woman anyways? What do you want to know? Well, I'm curious. I've already told you that. I'd rather not tell. Okay, so he's not going to tell me anything. Hey, blacksmith, uh, what do you do here? I'm a blacksmith, idiot. What do you think I do? Hey, it was just an honest question, buddy. <laughs> Honest? I haven't seen that in a long time. Yeah, well, I just thought I'd stop by to chat. Oh, you're quite the charmer. Chat away. So why am I here? You'll have to talk to Diane about that. I just hammer the metal. Okay. I'm done talking to the blacksmith. Q for quest. I'm in need of a babushka. I can't seem to get enough of them. Is he asking me to find him a woman? Isn't that what a babushka is? Where's Dion when I need him? Dion, are you around here? You need a babushka. Well, I don't have any babushkas in my pocket. I already, re I already redeemed um, some scrap metal and got a decent sword out of it. I could try to look, redeem one more. I can't get enough scrap metal. Take this. But I was afraid he was going to try to give me another weapon, so let's just salvage it. Two wood splints. Okay, it's time to go to gate 17 and see what's here. So he wants a great Russian grandma? Hmm, the terminal awaits us. Beep boop. Beep boop. I will terminate you, because I am a terminal. The terminal. Translocation meter lock. This boss will attempt to lock onto you. If you reposition or run, the lock meter will be diminished. If the, box lock, if the boss locks on, a missile will be launched at your face. User intelligence buffer underflow detected. ID10T error. So I can't see his health. Ooh, let's use our ultimate crushing blow. We have pulverized the terminal for 2,000 damage. So... What's he got here? 2,000... 4,000. He's basically got 6,000 hit points. This is going to be an interesting fight. It's bleeding. We'll start with Whirlwind. It's floundering. We grapple it. Only one instance of Master Race detected. Commencing genocide subroutine. We've got a Nazi terminal here. Can I hack it? 
the terminal has upgraded its missile launching application. I'm looking for the launch meter. Lock, right there. L-O. If it gets CK, I'm screwed. So, let's reposition. That didn't work. And grapple it again. Mm, it's dazed. I don't know if I... I don't know if I dodged the missile or what. Yeah, it's wounded us with a missile that didn't really do that much damage. Critically smash it. The terminal is preparing to accelerate. Let's reposition. We have slightly repositioned due to our wounds. I need to heal here in a second. He's accelerating. He's trampled us. Mm. Yeah, time to heal. Okay. He's gonna keep he's gonna get another lock on me. Ah, there we go. Humans and machine alike do not enjoy fire, that's true. He's only got basically 2,000 hit points left. He's accelerating and he's burning. Okay. The problem is I don't know what to do with accelerate. And even though I've been repositioning, he's still able to lock on me. Here we go. I'm gonna heal up one more time just to be safe. And you should be able to just finish him here. There we go. The terminal has been erased. Mr. Meeseeks? Ah, Mr. Meeseeks. Missing string. We sift through the wreckage of the terminal, examining microchips and circuit boards. What is this? Where does this machine come from? Not having enough answers, we bring the machine back to the blacksmith. This robot was built in the city of Kaldora. The blacksmith throws us a broken memory chip. Made in Kaldora by T-Machinist Industries is etched on the back. You have to find this machinist if you want more answers. But Kaldora's a long ways off from here. They say it's filled with robots. If you want to go there, you'd better get started now. During the night, the pieces of the terminal reassemble themselves and sneak out of the blacksmith's front door. You haven't seen the last of me, human. Beep boop. On the road to Count Dora, we come across a disheveled, wild-eyed local. Help us! Help, brave barbarian! We stop to listen, wondering what's wrong. Some, some crazy man is killing people, harvesting them for organs. He feeds the scraps to some creature living in our town's monastery. That doesn't seem like a particularly plausible story. We inquire further. The crazy man calls himself a doctor. He showed up a few weeks ago and drove out the Brotherhood monks in the great monastery. He and his bandit henchmen have been cutting people up and selling their organs, then feeding their remains to a creature chained up in the basement. We nod solemnly. We wonder whether we should help these people or not. The path to the monastery involves a lengthy detour, and we can't afford any distractions on our trip on our trip to Kaldora. Come on, the Brotherhood had a lot of valuables stashed in the monastery. The monks didn't take any of it when they ran. If you rid us of the doctor, everything's yours. Everything will be yours. Hmm. Great job smashing up that terminal. I was worried for a second there. Take this crafting kit. It allows you to craft powerful items with E. Now, let me go ahead and show you around our camp. It's very Iron Age. I love the shop. They sell trading commodities and, uh, other things. So, check out Liza's jugs at the tavern. They're wonderfully fermented. Also, the Colosseum is where you can test your might in brutal combat. You can reset your masteries. Among other things, as well. Oh, and, uh, go ahead and visit the keystones inside the Colosseum for randomized dungeons. Yeah. Oh, uh, bumbling bogaloons. Bandits are incoming. Ready your weapons. Hey, we've obtained a soul shard. Maybe we now we can change our class. We've erased the terminal. Got an item drop. Yes, ASCII boobies, Slaxer. 
So a normal pickaxe, let's just salvage that. Yay, wood splints. So our quest is to save the village, destroy the raiders in the rogue camp. Hmm, let's check out the shop. I'm curious what's here. Buy a silver key, sell a silver key. Buy diamonds. They have four diamonds. I don't know if that quest is still active with the blacksmith. Wardrobe. Basic. What's a, what can I do for a quest? I'm in need of a cherub. I can't seem to get enough of them, Cynthia says. Okay. Let's talk to her. Lots of goods for sale. So, Cynthia, how does a pretty girl like you guard all those items? With a knife and a quick wrist, of course. And how do you know I'm pretty? You can't even see my face. Well, I, I, I can see a bit of you through your hood, I, I guess. A bit, huh? Well, that's all you're gonna see. So what are you buying, stranger? Well, I already know her name somehow. Why don't you tell me it, though? You may ask, but I don't have to answer. Come on. You, you don't have to be so mysterious. It doesn't make you any more awesome. The girl in the hood can't be a little mysterious? Come on. So how did you get stuck with these ruffians? Ruffians? You mean that joker of a blacksmith and that meathead Gladius? Hmm. Well, I haven't met Gladius yet. Come on, I just mean this seems like a dangerous line of work for a girl that's kind of sexist. You mean you don't find them intimidating at all? Quite the other way around. Hoods have power, you know. So, prices vary over time. Check back often. Yeah, where's your family? My mother is dead. My father? So how did your mother pass away? I'd rather not say. Why so secretive? Do you always go up to people and ask about their dead family? No, I don't. Why don't you tell me about your father, though? Well, perhaps it's best that you don't know about my father. Okay. I'm not gonna spend all my gold on those diamonds just yet. I wanna talk to the blacksmith. He still wants two diamonds. Okay, good. I wasn't sure if that quest would, uh, phase out after we left that last area. We can go to the tavern. Let's go see these jugs. The ladies love plump avak. So, ooh, bounties. Apparently there's a reward for slaying three enemies. It's pretty straightforward. It's Lysa. Anything I can do for you? You got time to tell me about yourself? The name's Lysa. It's not often anyone asks for more than a drink in my jugs. So, it's a lovely name. What do you do here? Serving, accounting, hostessing, cleaning, everything. I actually need a vacation. Make it quick, please. Okay, show me the menu. Sure thing. What did you want to order? We can have a beer or some snacks. Hmm, how about some beer? Well, this is embarrassing. Yeah, we're fresh out of beer. What about snacks? Trust me, you don't want the snacks. Some of them are older than me. So you're a tavern that has no beer, no snacks. Maybe, maybe, maybe she likes me because this place is apparently busy. It looks busy. But she's not willing to serve me any of it because it's all bad. So, do you need any help? <sighs> I appreciate the sarcasm. You'd think running an empty bar would be easy. Apparently it's not busy. So, it's, it's not easy? Can't buy food or drink? And why not? No money for supplies. No money to make money. <sighs> it's a vicious cycle. Well, if you'll sell me some of those old snacks, I'll give you money. Um, so yeah, how come the place is so empty? No idea? What do you think is driving people away? Maybe it's the odor in here? What? You smell something? Um, it's, it's just a faint smell. Just a tiny itty bitty one. Ah, maybe there are dire rats in the cellar. <laughs> okay. Well, if there were rats there, I would take a quest to go kill them. I'm not afraid of some rats. Hmm, we can go to the grassy fields or to the rogue camp. I have a feeling if I go to the rogue camp, I'm going to get killed. Let's go to the grassy fields real quick. I want to see... Hey, we've obtained a rose. Okay. Charge a lot. Skeleton is softly caressing a whiz orb. And sometimes a dragon will cross our path. We should slay it, apparently. Skeleton, get wrecked. We obliterate the skeleton. A gushy slime is humming in an audible sound. 
Hint, turning on auto resolve mode will put the game on autopilot and probably get you killed. Hmm. We enter battle and the slime is fumbling around. We grapple it, throw it to the ground. It's guarding, so... Dance to the side. And then ground stomp the bastard. There we go. We completely destroyed the slime, of course. We've liquefied it. Well, I keep hoping that the background will change and we can find some secret areas. A hollow slime. Hint. Your guardian can be upgraded to have more cup holders. I don't, I don't even think I have any guardian. Um, let alone one with cup holders. Okay, we're just gonna go straight through combat here. Build up my ultimate meter a little bit. Item drop from the slime. Please be armor. Enraging Mazer Hatch Mark. Plus four strength, six whiz. Well, um, it's tempting. I wouldn't mind having more strength, but I don't really want to lose eight dex. It's the only dex boost I really have. And plus, my ionic fluxer is blue, so... That's gotta mean it's good, right? Hey, we get a raw hide. And we level up. I'm going to continue pumping points into strength. Passive skill. Let's go ahead and upgrade our max hit points this time. And more points into blade mastery. Pretty sure picking up this sword was the best thing that's happened for us. Mongrel is ready to lunge at us. Hint, in case of emergency, break the fourth wall. God, you're completely destroying things there. And another skeleton just... Ooh, wow. That skeleton actually has a lot of hit points. Our skele That skeleton wants our head on a pike. However, we kick him in his bony knee and he stumbles around. So we grapple him. And... I'm gonna have to reposition. I'm not doing anything to him. No, I'm exposed. My junk's all out and about for anyone to see. What if the barmaid comes by? The skeleton has hyper trampled us. Okay. I'm just gonna continue finishing him though. That was a bad idea. Let's just heal up. I was hoping whenever he had like 98 hit points left that I wouldn't have to reposition. Uh, I should probably just worry about tactics. And not trying to get lucky. Save the village. Destroy the raiders in the road camp. Hmm. Gonna go to the grassy fields one more time, and then we're gonna go there. An event. It's a boss encounter. We can fight or walk away. Let's fight. Matron's Doom Guard. Is that a cow? Oh my... Okay, we're gonna open up with Crushing Blow. We've pulverized him for a thousand. <sighs> There's only a 1% chance to run away. I'm pretty sure we're gonna die here. This is not good. He's preparing to accelerate. Um, let's try Repost. We've reflected zero damage, is accelerating directly at us. I'll try it one more time. He hyper trampled us for 922 damage. So I wasn't able to reflect any damage by trying to repost that. Live and learn. He's preparing to accelerate. Let's continue to reposition. He slashes us. There we go fumbling around. We grapple him to the ground and jump on the cow's back. Gonna continue. He's accelerating at us. No! He trampled us for 938 damage. We just got wrecked. I thought I had one more turn before he would actually arrive and trample me. I can't romance it. This is not a dating simulator. No, it's the Grim Reaper. 
we got destroyed. Rest in pieces. Yeah, that was actually, uh, character was doing pretty good. Our character died at level 6. I don't know how good actually I was doing on that character. It's the first one I've ever played. Killed 18 enemies, got 10 items found. I like the music in this game. I like the art. It's actually pretty awesome. It's a lot better than I thought it would be. I know that they're actually, um, I'm not sure if they're coming out with a second one or or what, but on Reddit, if you go to their subreddit, they're redoing all of the art for it, and it looks a lot better. It's still going to keep the same ASCII style that this one has, but be even more detailed. Apparently they've got a program that can take real 3D pictures or something like that and then turn it into ASCII. Pleasantly surprised by this game. Really well done. <sighs> Probably, I don't think I'm going to do another run on it, though. Not right now. Um, for now, I'm going to take a quick break, get some tea... Maybe get a little snack, and I'll be back in probably 10 minutes or something like that. I don't know what we'll be playing next. I might do a Lona or another another roguelike. I've been wanting to check out the uh, next Elona, or the latest Elona version. Might do some more Democracy 3. See if we can avoid going $14 trillion in debt and getting assassinated this time. I might run a poll whenever I come back. I'll throw some games up and uh, you guys can vote on it. But I'll be back in probably 10 minutes or so. I'm going to mute myself and just let this music play. Because this music is actually pretty good. Thank you. 
Thank you. 